So what, what are young people doing at the moment to keep themselves entertained? <laughs> Just wandering around because there's nothing to do. My name is Adrian Barber and I'm a filmmaker from Bolton in Lancashire, a once booming cotton mill town. I've been asked by Bolton at home to gather creative feedback from residents relating to their heightened fears and worries in the hours of darkness. Against the backdrop of recession, high youth unemployment, redundancies and government funding cuts, I'm interested to see if the residents themselves have any ideas for a solution to the nighttime issues. I've lived here all my life. It'll be 67 euros in September. But we never ever go out at night. You get older, you're more frightened. And if you see a gang of lads, you're automatically thinking, are they going to do something? You walk away. I mean, they may not do. But as you get older, you're more frightened. I feel more frightened now than I ever did. Do you feel safe going out at night round here? Yeah, because I can walk round here. If I wasn't from this area, then yeah, but I know I've lived here like 11 years, so I know everybody, so it's all right. But if, if I was like new to this area, then yeah, I'd feel really intimidated. To a degree, I'd say it gets better in summer, but winter time, is murder. Kids are bored. There's nothing to do. Simple about it. There's no to be around there for kids to do. That's only open a couple of times a week for them to come and enjoy themselves. There's no parks around here. And if there is parks, there's only some kids on it doing whatever they do. When I was a kid, all my friends lived on here, and this is where we are on go about. So, how would you describe it at the moment on here and I? Rough. We're kids, we're teenagers. I mean, I won't open my door at night. If they've gone to bed, because I don't go to bed till late, I won't open my door to anybody. Mainly many of us, like, if we're either drunk or high, and still, it like, gives us that certain, like, little buzz sort of thing. It's fun while it lasts. Well, you always see people walking about with fear, you know, and social behaviour, shouting, swearing, drunk. And you know, you, you can always smell drugs around here, to be honest. Not not all the time, but you can always smell a bit of weed in places and stuff like that. They're not the way, they're nobody's going to confront loads of teenagers doing drugs under a lamppost. I wouldn't, I've got three kids to think about, I'm only going to get aggro off them, aren't I? Right, right. Well, probably not, because I know them, because I've grown up around here and I know them all, but anybody else who they don't know, they're only going to get aggro off them. If I had the money to do something, I'd do it to get kids out back here. Which, which they are pushing for it. The nearest park around here is Willis Park. Kids can't go on there because it's full of needles. There's a few clubs about, but you don't really see people going to them. You just see them hanging about on the streets, walking about. Uh, mostly on here playing football. You can get groups of like 50 people all playing a match. But yeah, you just mostly see people walking about, to be honest. When I was growing up around here, I was going to walk along at night because of all the different gangs that used to be around and you didn't want to walk past a group of lads wearing hoods because you didn't feel safe, you didn't know what they'd do, you know what I mean? But it's just people having a good time, trying to do something, trying to have fun. So what do the kids do around here at night? Nothing. There's nothing for them to do. Just play football on the street. Just ransacked with kids when they into the road and it's over. I don't let my kids play. I can't let my kids play because all the children follow each other and they wouldn't need more than the amount of times kids nearly get run over on here. There's just too many kids to do it there. Thousands and thousands of kids are just all piling here and going up and down on the bikes. It's terrible. I actually want to move actually because there's too many kids. Kids on the streets, nowhere to go, nothing to do. It's just like rubbish, really. A lot of them. They're in gangs. All hooded, aren't they? All have hoods on, so you can't <laughs> see the faces. You know. I wear me hoodie all day, but I'm not the kind of person that's a thug or anything. So why do you wear it? Is it just... just warmth. Like now, it's a bit chilly. You get your ears and that. It just covers your ears and that. It's just like a bob hat. People think if you're wearing a hoodie, you're a thug. But you're not. You're just keeping warm, you're keeping dry. It's nothing to be scared of if you're wearing a hood, do you know what I mean? They just they judge you off first impressions, whereas in, instead of talking to you first, it's a different story, they just think you've done whatever's happened straight away. Some people that do wear hoodies ain't folks, you know. It's just like, just because they've got an hoodie on it, 
you can't just give up why it's cover, can you really? It seemed to me that the community agreed that there was very little to do at night time, and as a result the youngsters wandered the streets bored. The small minority were creating trouble, but they were giving a bad name to everyone. I wanted to bring a workshop to the young people's street corner, as a way to pathfind them to creative centres, to excite them about the arts, to give them what they had asked for, music, emceeing, video and popular culture. I also had a secret weapon to grab their attention. Light graffiti is a great way to explain the process of long exposure photography. It's easy to do and fun for all age groups. The aim of tonight's event is to get people to contribute in a creative way. Um, we met with some kids recently and they wanted to express themselves with music rather than just by talking. So we got Robbie from Insight Media to come down tonight with some of the young people. And tonight we're going to be making photographs, music, using lights and lasers. And we're going to be asking them about their views on the area. Show up at your club, somewhere we all can go and chill and do decks and stuff like that, what, what, stuff what we like. Over the last couple of weeks we've done extensive research in the area and we've found that there's, there's a lot of people that are interested in this. They've suggested to us that MC is an easier way for them to express themselves. Higher rooms for kids like on weekends for like going MC to donk, rhyme, whatever. You find out what people would actually enjoy doing, you know, like us, me, Steve, Matty, we all like doing DJing, creating lyrics, stuff like that. that I'm sure most people in Dean would come and do that. You afraid of the dark, I'm afraid of me. No need to be scared of the dangerous trees, because all we want to do is play the beats and have a good time, because it's the way to be. So stay with me, I've got nothing to do. See you back to your channel, hold on for the food. But then I should get lost in the view. Every teenager's life on the top that accuses crime. I know this so shocking and true. When we're just chilling on the past, talking the booze. Then you get the dude to chuck your to the booze. And I'm asking all people just stop this accuse. I chase my fist to stop stereotypes, but I still get it when I find a stereo high. I chase a lot of why did you want to get involved with this project? To be completely honest with you, I was bored at my head and I just thought it was something to do. What made you come down to that? What interested you about tonight? Just because people might hear us and start to think like, well it is getting bad and then someone might do something about it. Really enjoying it actually, the music that we're making is actually very good and all the equipment that we're using is pretty neat so it's pretty good yeah. All teenagers are into music. Not all teenagers are into sport and stuff, but all teenagers like the music, whether it's indie music, rapping, MC, and dance. Everyone likes a certain kind of music, but like not everyone likes sport, not everyone likes art and crafts, so it's a bit rubbish when you've got a youth setting that only specifies and stuff like that. It's quite interesting actually, the way we were messing about with the lights and you know, like, like Robbie did, spelling name and you as well, putting insight and the fact that we could actually get someone on that picture with that in the background, you know, looked pretty cool. And yeah, it's, it's interested me, something different, something new. It amazed me how you could actually do it. Personally, I thought it was um, a very successful night. Yeah, it, it has been really fun, some, some that do, and it's just kept us off the streets, just stops us from causing any trouble. They don't really, you don't really see a lot of binge drink anymore on the streets. I think everyone's just grew up a bit more, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just changed a bit. Yeah. Like, there's, there's more stuff to do now as well. We've got more youth clubs around here as well. So it's better, because like, I used to work in a youth club down there. And we've opened up like a few more youth clubs. Like, Willow Centre, literally around the corner here, has been opened up now. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff like dancing sessions and tie boxing sessions go on there and stuff now as well. I, I just really enjoyed it anyway, all the all the music side of it, I just I just loved it because that's just what I do, isn't it? When I'm out with my mates and all the crew, I look around for things to do, but there's not to do, nowhere to go, so I get into trouble because it's all I know. All I want to do is have a good time, but I can't see the light for the life of crime. I see the police coming with the lights on flashing, get on my soul, start giving grief laughing. Me and the girls, me and the boys, go around the hood, start making noise, because there's not at all to do today. That's why the trouble never goes away. If we were listen to a little bit more, there'd be a lot less trouble in store. Give us some respect, so we'll give some back. If you don't, then we won't, and that's just that. Been good. I think it'll help a lot. I think that the people you're going to show it to, they will understand what we're saying and they will see that it's actually the truth of what we want. You know what I mean, it's not just a piece of paper saying this is what we want, it's actually evidence. If there was something going on at a centre nearby, that had stuff like what we've been doing tonight, would it interest you? Yeah, definitely. Too right, too right, definitely. They're all time, won't we? <laughs> yeah.